the Turbo Master U5078 is ready to show you what she turned into and she has turned into a faded beauty since you last saw her. There's a couple of other things that have changed since you last saw her as well. So let's dive in, let the video commence and I'll show you what it looks like now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how is you all today? This, it is such a shame, it is so faded, because it, it really is fantastic. Although, for a and glance, you can't, if you didn't know that it was supposed to be a sort of blue colour, you know, if you didn't know that that is the colour that it is supposed to be, you would be hard pressed to tell. <gasps> Give it away the fact it's got a HEPA flow fit in that they didn't take that one through. Of course it's got a HEPA flow fitted. Everything's got a HEPA flow fitted on this channel. Yeah, it is shiny. You probably can't see that too much from there. Let's let's play with the studio lights. Look. Oh, there we go. Look. Oh, shiny. Oh, shiny. Look at the shiny things. Yeah, it has come up. God, it's heavy. An absolute treat. In fact, while I'm holding it, it still doesn't have a handle cap. But they they do turn up. There's no point. I've still got it. So if we come across one, we'll grab it. But yeah, that's small fry. In the grand scheme of things, you may be noticing that its cable is stowed away in the correct manner. Yes, it's because the cable hook was flying around inside of the trunnion ready to be discovered. The downside of that is that it has smashed ev mostly every single retaining point it had and has a lot of spring. So it's there behind a layer of sellotape and basically just barely holds the cord on. Display only. Talking of cord, we have kept the British made plug which is of unknown origin. And it's, it's basically, the, the, the only new parts this has had is the motor damage. It had a new fan, understandable really. And new belts and a bag, that is it. That is the, oh, and new brush for bearings, and new motor bearings. The usual, really. And because it's had the usual, it is now absolutely spotless. Underneath, look, is almost like a new machine. Apart from that rust on there, you can't take these wheels apart because of that horrible sprung washer. So, yeah, that's that. That's had to stay. And obviously, I've, I've been using it. Look, you can see usage dirt. And yes, use is exactly the correct term because this thing now works, if you remember. From the before video, it had a charming motor tone, didn't it? A lovely sound it made. Well, it sounds just a little bit different now. It's got that sort of higher pitched whine that these larger motors have. It is gorgeous, and of course it sounds completely different when you recline the handle and turn on the brush. When you're putting yourself along. Oh yes, folks. It does that. It is utterly gorgeous. I 
pain to walk on them. Nothing else brings this old rug up like this does. It is superb. As you saw, yes, it is fitted with a HEPA flow. <laughs> Not really for any heifer type issues, diseases, allergies, but because it ensures that no dust, because they are really good, because they're designed to cope with thousand watt heavies, escapes from there, so it doesn't get your machine dirty. It's the only reason I have it, really. The tool conversion still converts. In fact, the suction is quite good from it. <laughs> But I don't have the tool adapter, so we can't test that. Let's have a look at the pretty lights, though. These are pretty. So, as I'm sure you would agree, it's absolutely brilliant. It really does work ever so, ever so well. I would say, like new. Just got to be a little bit cautious winding the cable up because this is what it does. But so it's a bit of a pain, but without a replacement back, there's not a lot I can do about that. And this machine is going to be mainly for display. So, as long as the cable sits nicely, that's why I put one of the clips on it, look. As long as it sits like that, looking pretty, and I'm actually hoping that the owner's going to use it. One of the advantages of this being so faded is that, I wouldn't say it's worth it, because someone will still pay a lot of money for it, but it just makes it less, you know, you can use it more. It's not a minter machine. I don't use my new in box turbo master that much because it is new in box and there's just a psychological thing behind using it. Whereas this you can happily use it all day long to clean as I have cleaned here. This rug really needs cleaning properly but it's been vacuumed off for now. It is superb. The big track marks there. That bit is terrible for track marks. And it's done quite well. So, a very rare Turbo Master, because I don't think they sold as many of these as compared to, because this was, this was the middle of the road version. You had the basic cheap version, which was this. I think it was this. Was this the cheap? This, this was the cheap base version, wasn't it? I don't think the ones with tools were that much more. I think people with this level would have just bought a turbo power. So yeah, good that it survived, good that it is still here, good that it works so flipping well. And thank you very much for coming with me on this journey of fixation because it was trash. The fan had completely melted and then spat its remains off, never to be seen again. And now it's back to being brand new mechanically, almost brand new cosmetically. I'm saying if it wasn't faded, that would be mint. But it's not. But I know you love it anyway. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please tell me and critique about this video if you wish in the comments or join me there for the normal banter when the video has finished playing. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.